Let me invite the next panelist, um, Dr. Ao Chan Moli, Director of Research Center, Institute of Technology of Cambodia. His topic is about university industry linkages, the case of ITC. Please uh, join me, welcome him. Dr. Moli, please. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone, and good morning, Dr. Arvin, and nice to see you again. And yeah, today it's my great honor to be here to uh, show you about the ITC case in terms of uh, uni uh, university industry linkage. Okay, yeah. Okay, so before I start talking about the UIL, let me briefly about the ITC. Yeah, ITC was created in 1964 until uh, 1975 uh, by Cambodian and Soviet Union. And the campus is closed during the uh, 1975 until 1979 is uh, by the purple regime. So everything is closed. And we reopened in 1998, 1980 and uh, until 1993 by Soviet Union. And from 1993 until the present is uh, operated, is uh, continued by uh, French government, by AUIS, uh, SU, uh, C, uh, CUD, JICA and Koika as well. So yeah, we have uh, many partner after us and right uh, so far. And the goal for I, uh, we has a one, we has a goal like uh, to uh, uh, produce highly uh, high quality of education in engineering field, science and technology. Currently, uh, ITC we has uh, more than three hundred staff, uh, as you see in this graph, and we has also uh, around five thousand uh, students. And mostly, as you see, mostly is uh, undergraduate, and the, uh, we has a, a, a very few graduate students. So it is uh, our challenge as well uh, in order to increase the uh, graduate student. Currently, ITC has uh, running two campus, uh, one campus at uh, uh, Phnom Penh, as a headquarter and another campus at the uh, Thuong uh, uh, And currently we are uh, one, another one uh, campus is under construction in near uh, by new stadium uh, near the Win Win Mon Monument. So this is the third campus. And we also have another place to, uh, 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 we will, in the future, we will uh, create uh, R&D center over there uh, in the Kampong Cham is about 45 kilometers from Kampong Kumum. Yeah, currently we have this camper and here is the uh, structure of ITC, uh, mainly uh, managed by uh, one director and uh, we have two international board. One is about, uh, uh, we call board of trustee is a uh, focusing on the administration. And another one is conceptual board is, uh, uh, this board also international is uh, focusing on academic and also research. So all the uh, academic work on, uh, on all uh, the administrative work in order to produce, uh, to make something, we need to get the approval from this uh, two board. And we also have another board on the, we call Savoy is uh, for uh, Council of Education and University Life is the, uh, for the student. And this one we has four part, we uh, under management of the uh, deputy director, we has a corporation and research, academic and affair, planning and administration. So from this one, I want you to uh, take uh, interest on the first uh, part is about the cooperation and research. So in this one, we has a, a office of R and D that we call research and innovation center, and we has an office of cooperation, office scholarship, and office of industry university in K. And currently, yeah, we has a, 
uh, five faculty. He, he is a, a faculty. Actually, last time we had a department, but more than five. So after that, we generate it into the faculty. So we have five faculty, and we have one graduate school, and we have one uh, research and innovation center. Yeah. Uh, in here, I would like to uh, present you something about the Research and Innovation Center or ITC. Yeah, we have a vision and mission uh, in order to support the economic growth of Cambodia by supporting the te technology transfer and uh, private sector uh, collaboration. So uh, this is uh, what our this is our mission and vision regarding to uh, for the research and innovation center. And currently, we, uh, previous time, sorry, previous time we has a uh, research uh, based on the uh, uh, research uh, based on the department. However, later on we rely that uh, cross culture, cross cutting research uh, is not uh, well into action. So we uh, generate. We uh, establish research and innovation center, and we generate the research team into five. Uh, one is uh, food and uh, technology and nutrition. Second one is mechatronic and information technology, uh, material science and structure, energy technology and management, water and environment. So we have five research unit, and uh, we has a, a, a number of research. Uh, one unit has a one head. Uh, one head of research unit, and uh, we have a number of uh, researchers. And uh, this graph shows you about the uh, uh, number of researchers and number of research projects that uh, at I ITC. So it's uh, it uh, for example, ETM is energy technology and management. We have uh, fifteen researchers, and also we have fifteen research projects. And it's we has uh, for water environment, we has uh, only 27 uh, researcher, but we has a uh, 34 research project. It's a good, uh, it's a great, uh, it's a, uh, a big task for researcher at uh, water environment. And uh, sorry, uh, for for this one, we has a uh, research. Uh, we, the researcher we had two titles. One is we call a lecturer researcher. Uh, lecturer researcher is mean that uh, the researcher has uh, allocated some uh, hour for teaching is about uh, 200 hours for teaching and uh, the remaining time is uh, for uh, uh, do a research activity so the contract is one year and uh, another uh, title is a full-time researcher so uh, the researcher doesn't have to teach they uh, uh, pay a hundred percent of the time for uh, research and most of them is uh, a, a research fellow and in here in, at ITC we create a innovate innovation platform uh, we rely that the four component for uh, uh, research uh, innovation platforms will be taken. First one is R&D, that we has a research and innovation center take place on that one. And we has a co-working space and a business incubation. It is, uh, we allocate some space and we collaborate with the private sector to, to uh, put this one. Uh, this space is for the student, for the research, uh, who uh, feel free to take uh, the the space and uh, discussion, uh, yeah, meeting with the company, so and so on, and also we has a, a prototype facility for if the student or the group, the team has the idea to create some things, they can uh, propose and make uh, some prototype, and yeah from the prototype, it can be referred to the uh, incubation center that can be commercialized. And another one that uh, very important also is about the university industry linkage. So this office is uh, very uh, important to connect between researcher, student uh, to the industry. So uh, without uh, this uh, uh, office, uh, 
we has uh, a lot of job to do with the private sector and recently we also uh, making the uh, establishing the fat lab uh, fat lab is we call like a digital uh, fabrication laboratory so this one is the student uh, feel free to go there and uh, conduct the research or innovate something over there uh, it look like a playground for researcher and here is the UIL uh, University Industry Link it is uh, uh, the office is created in 2014 and uh, we have and uh, one year later, we has created a consortium we call uh, industrial consortium. It's uh, led by the ITC, and we has a member of uh, industrial as a member. So we, we the idea is good that we has a uh, industrial consortium. So we has a network, we has industrial networks. So we uh, the 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 idea is good. However, the uh, the progress. Uh, of the uh, consortium is still uh, uh, not uh, producing we can result yet so we uh, it's required to uh, put ITC to put a foot on uh, uh, this consortium and we has also uh, a chain training staff with the enterprise or with the company so uh, we has uh, provide we, 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 we are provide with the uh, opportunity by the company, they offer the training, short, uh, short course training, and also guest, guest lecture uh, from the company, visiting a uh, company. Uh, so this is uh, the, the view and opportunity from the private sector. Uh, uh, also, we has uh, alumni for ITC. In, at ITC, we has uh, uh, alumni for each department they has a uh, alumni uh, reunion like for example every year they do uh, uh, alumni event so uh, the event is the place that uh, uh, the old friends meet together the researcher meet the industry the uh, the young generation we, uh, meet with the company so yeah it's very great place and a very uh, good time for networking so uh, the uh, uh, the event uh, uh, was conducted every year by each uh, department. Uh, however, this year we cannot make it happen uh, due to the uh, COVID nineteen. And here is the uh, main task for UIL. The first one is to provide quality or academic pro program. Uh, this one. Uh, not UIL is provide the uh, academic program, but uh, UIL is the one who connect with the, who connect the industrial, and uh, uh, industrial or private sector is working con uh, uh, closely with the uh, department, and usually we get we get the feedback from the company that uh, what uh, uh, our product it means the student. For example, the uh, student. We, uh, for example, last time we get uh, feedback from the company that the uh, capacity of the student is fine. They can work uh, uh, technically. They are uh, ca they can work at the company. However, in regarding to the soft skill, uh, for example, uh, leadership, teamwork, uh, they they are uh, they need to be uh, more improvement on the soft skill. So with this one. The input from industry, uh, we need to uh, we take the input from industry and we propose to the consortium in order to revise the cur curriculum uh, to uh, to meet the requirement from the uh, uh, for industry and also to promote uh, the consultancy service uh, and technical support training, for example. This one, like uh, Dr. Arvin said, uh, we would like to uh, produce the consultancy with to the uh, private sector for uh, in uh, uh, on on behalf of the uh, ITC not individually uh, because uh, individually we yeah we facing uh, many challenges on uh, individual consultancy however if we make a consultancy by uh, on behalf of ITC it will be more 
uh, complete set and also more uh, responsibility. And another one, we uh, promote research, uh, refer to the applied research. This one is uh, very important that uh, uh, UIL need uh, to link between IRTC researcher and uh, industrial because sometimes IRTC did the research but uh, not disseminate to the researcher uh, to the private sector. So in regarding to the uh, public eye, they don't understand that uh, what they uh, what ITC are uh, uh, currently doing and what uh, ITC are going to do. So uh, also uh, this one uh, IT uh, researcher also uh, don't get the updated information or technology from the company how far the company is uh, uh, taking place on in terms of technology, in terms of uh, research. So uh, in, uh, UIL is the is the link between the researcher, researcher and the uh, uh, industrial. So the missing information and the networking can be connected by UIL. We see uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the, 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 the bridging and also UIL uh, need to take place uh, uh, to set up on the policy and uh, policy or, or, or uh, law regarding to the uh, IP and uh, uh, technology transfer. Uh, this is the some activity that uh, uh, UIL have conducted is uh, like uh, the UIL has developed the. Uh, uh, competency expertise catalog for ITC, yeah. Uh, so they can uh, show or send to the uh, this catalog to the uh, private sector. They has uh, created a research seed database. Uh, so uh, the researcher can may take uh, opportunity to see the database or also the uh, uh, URL can share the. Uh, Benefit as shared to the uh, the database to the uh, private sector, and also uh, uh, created short course training for extension service uh, for the uh, private sector, and promote research collaboration between uh, ITC and researcher, uh, ITC and industry. So. The, Uh, UIL, uh, the activity of another activity of UIL also to make the vi uh, visibility of research result uh, to the industry through a seminar. We, we often, uh, uh, UIL often uh, uh, create a seminar and invited the uh, 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 industrial uh, partner to, to, to be a part of the seminar. And we also, uh, UIR also uh, reinforced ITC alumni to uh, create the uh, industrial database, create program with the student. For the student, we have uh, many program like uh, internship program. We have, for example, last time, uh, uh, we have uh, made uh, 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 industrial visit. Uh, the, we, we want to, we want the st student uh, see uh, what the real activity at the company. So we propose the company to visit and also the company also uh, provide some short course, not only the visit, but short course for uh, the student. And yeah, also uh, we need to develop, uh, we need to develop the IP policy uh, in regarding to the technology transfer and licensing or their IP management as well. This, yeah, uh, this the activity that UIL has done so far, and also at ITC we have another program is we call a dual education program. Uh, this program is uh, working between uh, university, private sector, and student. So 
this one has the we we uh, we has the contract between the uh, ITC and student. We have the contract between student and company. We have just the contract between uh, university and company as well. So, dual education program uh, uh, play an important role for professionalship. So, uh, this one uh, like uh, in Khmer we call uh, uh, and I. Uh, this one is not reflect to the part-time student that they learn, they learn master degree or learn a, a, a engineering degree at the night time and they work at the uh, day time. This is not a called world education program because this one we don't have contract. And the important thing that the link between uh, uh, teaching uh, between a, a course at the university and the practice work at the industry is not uh, uh, is not the uh, same. Dual education program is to uh, uh, secure the student has the connected with the uh, with the private sector and assure they has a job after graduation. So in the contract is uh, mentioned clearly about that one and. Uh, uh, this one, like the student, uh, can take course in the uh, uh, at ITC, and they can uh, uh, prototype or uh, conduct uh, a research activity at the company at the same topic. So we have to to have the mentor at the ITC and the mentor at uh, the uh, industry. Uh, so this one is uh, very important. However, it, we still have has uh, a limit number of the researcher uh, of the uh, student working in this uh, dual education program because uh, yeah uh, looking for the company is uh, very hard because this one the con the uh, industry need to need to uh, spare some time uh, allocate some uh, time and some men uh, mentor for uh, the student so this is a, a part that the uh, uh, industry need to invest. Uh, this one uh, can be happen and uh, uh, broadly, uh, if the, we ch can change the uh, mindset of the people, for example, the, the, uh, we need to think that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, creating human resource is not a role, is not a, uh, responsibility from for the university only. It's a core uh, program that can create uh, that create a human resource. Uh, but our mindset, uh, I especially for the uh, private sector, they said that uh, university is the uh, take role to uh, produce human resource and uh, industrial take role to use the human resource. But I think that uh, it's not correct because here yeah, uh, this mindset is still keep so. Uh, the way the producing and the way using is will be a conflict for that one. So in in uh, in this program is well working at uh, 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 Germany and uh, South Korea is well, uh, well developed. However, in Italy also uh, uh, working uh, uh, step by step for that one. And this one in order the program can be. Uh, 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 run uh, smoothly uh, uh, need support from the government because that government can uh, take place in order to uh, uh, make some uh, policy in order that the company and the university can work together and yeah of course the company uh, when the company they need to take care of the business but human resource is very important if uh, without human resource without good human resource, so the business plan cannot be achieved as well. And uh, another challenge for this program is uh, in Cambodia is uh, we has mostly is SME. We don't have a, a, a giant company. So the SME, most the SME, they don't allocate the budget or allocate time. They, uh, in the business plan, they don't allocate uh, the, uh, the education program. This is uh, uh, the, the first thing that we, we made. And now the one is commitment. Last time we had a, a collab, we had a seminar regarding to this uh, program that uh, 
uh, the private sector said that it's very clear, it's very good, but uh, later on, the involving from the commitment is still limited. Yeah. And this, uh, I think, the uh, future activity that uh, UIL uh, uh, will uh, take care of uh, is to increase the sort of training development for industrial, create uh, yeah, research collaboration is very important. Like uh, for example, right now we have a HIP project that we have uh, major majority of the uh, research project is collaborate with the industrial. So we hope that uh, from from the existing uh, project we can make a good image to the uh, uh, private sector that. After this project uh, finished, we can uh, have another chance for uh, uh, collaborate with the uh, private sector for research and development. Yeah, and another one is uh, consultant service and external service for industry laboratory, and also we has a professionalization of uh, incubation center. Yeah, it's very important that we has to create a. Uh, technology transfer innovation uh, activity and also we create a fab lab and uh, promote technology transfer to the not only the uh, private sector but also the community because uh, uh, research distribution to the community is very important because if we distribute the technology or uh, make research outreach to the community it will be more benefit uh, for the social and and also we continue uh, and maintain the existing activity on regarding the education and quality of uh, research activity uh, yeah this one is uh, some part of some partner that we has uh, working with the private sector and this is the uh, since nine, uh, two years ago, uh, that the uh, UIL has work, uh, created a, a career forum and joined by the company. And before I end my talk, I would like to uh, conclude that uh, the connecting between uh, university and industry uh, should be taken if the government also put hand together in, in this uh, connecting uh, like for example the government could uh, have the policy or ecosystem that can broadly uh, ecosystem that can uh, uh, trend make a trend for a company take more interest on the human resource and develop, uh, research development and uh, or collaboration with the uh, University and in the same time, uh, university also need to have the human resource. Of course, human resource uh, uh, is very important for uh, university, and also has the uh, capacity. Capacity refer to the infrastructure also because if you have, if you want to do research and without infrastructure, it's very hard. So we has university should have clear uh, uh, indication on the. Uh, uh, so has, uh, and also the uh, university should have clear structure for uh, uh, or clear uh, process on uh, uh, collaboration between research uh, between uh, university and industry research collaboration because uh, uh, sometimes the university and the industry not trust each other yeah frankly speaking is uh, uh, the trust from the uh, each other is very important, and also the industry should uh, have a commitment because uh, just talking is not uh, is not uh, uh, is not Industry should has uh, allocated the uh, uh, collaboration.
Hello, Thank Dr. Molly. Thank you, Dr. Molly. You already finished your presentation. Thank you for your thought-provoking presentation that you have just delivered. It is um, particularly appropriate at this time when we considering new initiative for expanding growth of university industry linkages at higher education institutions in Cambodia. So most of us here are especially interested in ITC experience of fostering such linkages and we are looking at ways that we might implement some of your suggestions again. Thank you so much.